Ladies and gentlemen, Shaikokan devices are creating a safe space and ensuring there is no transmission of viruses. Today, you stand a chance to win a device. All you have to do is scan the QR code on your table and answer some fun questions and submit them before you leave. On stage with us is Mr. Alok Sharma, the Chief Executive Officer of Shaikokan Corporation. Mr. Alok Sharma, as the CEO, is evolving and driving the strategic direction to build Shaikokan Corporation as a global organization and building a strong management team to drive its execution. He has previously held various leadership positions and been an entrepreneur for the last three decades. He has served as Managing Director of Apple India, been part of the leadership team at Sun Microsystems at India and ASEAN and has worked at Bepro. He is currently a member of the Indian Angel Network and has invested across sectors. Mr. Alok has done his executive MBA and engineering from Indian Institute of Technology, BHU. Over to you, sir. Can we have the presentation on the screen, please? And also a mic for the gentleman. Um, am I audible? Okay. Um, thank you for giving us an opportunity uh, to present today. Um, I think we've all been hit by uh, COVID recently. But COVID is only showing us that the viral problem has to be looked at. Now, if you look at children already have adenovirus or flus constantly, and they miss a lot of education. Um, they carry that to home, uh, the parents get it, the teachers may get it. So there's obviously flu. We've had uh, many pandemics, uh, especially in the last 20 years, in the last two decades. Uh, we had SARS, uh, which is the first cousin of the SARS-CoV-2. We'd had MERS in Middle East, uh, you know, this thing. We had swine flu. We have had Ebola. So, the thing is that if something can be done for the viral problem, then, and we are going to talk about, let's work together with schools and do something for the next 10 years for the viral problem, and we take care of SARS-CoV-2 or COVID also. Okay. Um, now, if you look at uh, influenza, uh, which now we consider as seasonal flus, um, started with Spanish flu in 1918. It now um, in, uh, have, have around 1 billion people go through flus every year. We still lose 650,000 lives, and we consider it kind of normal. Uh, there is obviously a, a lot of issues related to uh, you know, learning and productivity loss. The overall economy loss across the globe because of this is actually a trillion dollars uh, every year. Now, we look at, um, um, you know, 650 million deaths. So, all this is happening. Now, if you look at uh, the SARS-CoV-2 or the coronavirus in the last 15 years, till around 2003, it was a very normal virus. So, it was discovered first in 1950, and it was not progressing much. It was just giving some common cold kind of features. So, SARS hit in 2003, 2004, there were two other uh, variants that came in. These variants give us pneumonia, very high, call, you know, this thing of uh, respiratory diseases and became, you know, people get hospitalized. Uh, then MERS came in, Middle Eastern. It was from camels to humans, uh, nearly 35% fatality rate. Luckily, it never moved from humans to humans. 
So therefore, uh, the variant was not high. And now we know um, the COVID-19, which is there, and which has many, many variants, uh, which include uh, the, uh, the IHU, Omicron, and all the current variants, the Delta and the Delta Plus. So what we are trying to say is that let's not look at doing something for COVID. But today, we are in a position to do something for the viral problem. Now imagine you have a school where you don't have viral problems and transmissions don't happen with teachers and parents. Uh, many of you are wearing a mask. We have these devices here and we'll talk about these devices and you'll be safe. So if anybody was carrying any kind of viral infection here, none of us will get it, okay? And we've been working on this for a very long time. Now, obviously, this is a very big problem to solve. We've all talked about this. Um, the children, um, you know, nearly 50 crore in India, but uh, 168 million people, children globally uh, are disrupted. Uh, obviously, uh, many of us come from areas where our schools can afford technology, our parents can afford technology, the children afford technology, but what are all the underserved societies? I think they have really suffered. Uh, we are losing a whole generation here. And uh, when we look at uh, people who work for us and their children actually haven't gone to school for the last two years, and I think it is a big catastrophe. Um, so marginalized communities have been affected the most. An entire generation is getting uh, affected because of COVID. Now, there is already a talk which Bill Gates has said that the next COVID, you know, the pandemic will be 10 times worse. Now, the preparation for pandemic is much better or virus is much better than, than actually uh, responding to it later. And we'll talk about it. So we all know the problem statement. Uh, you guys know it better. Uh, it was being talked about. So I'll try to come to what can be done about it. Okay. Um, we are unprepared to handle as uh, COVID new variants will continue to come in. And, and see. So what happens is that vaccines have been given to teachers. Now, some vaccines may have been given to, uh, may be given to students too, but vaccine is necessary but not sufficient. It has stopped hospitalizations, it has, uh, or it has brought down hospitalizations, it has brought down deaths, but it has not brought down the spread of COVID. As new variants are coming in, and obviously you take uh, the corona vaccine, you still have influenza, you have other things, how many vaccines can you take in a year? So vaccine is important, but not sufficient. So what we need is, we need a concept of individual safety, which could be the vaccine, the mask, the distancing, and we need to bring in the concept of mass safety. And this mass safety is possible through technology. Okay, what it really means is that a space where this is kept, transmission of the virus cannot happen, where it is installed. So I'll tell you the story about this. Um, the scientist is a very good friend of mine. He belongs to Bangalore, Dr. Raja Vijay Kumar. And uh, he's done many, many breakthrough uh, inventions and, this, uh, and, and discoveries. So one of the things he discovered was, maybe a decade back, was that near the equator, the transmission of uh, these viral infections is very low. It has nothing to do with COVID. Even in COVID, it is proven now. It was proven in influenza too. So near the equator, this is very low. Okay. So he looked at figuring out what is happening. So he realized that when so many photons from, uh, which is sunlight comes in, which is visible, but sun also gives a lot of invisible uh, energy spectrums. When it comes there, there are some frequencies that are available in the equator which are not available anywhere else. So he felt that if that can be created, maybe it can solve a problem. And he looked at it solving multiple problems. On the second side, what he did was, he looked at a lot of, you know, we were actually um, the, the country which had the most metallurgy prowess. We were known for our metallurgy. At one time in the world, which is you know, documented, we were 33% of the global economy, and a lot was to do with metallurgy. Now what he looked at, there were certain 
processes of building elements. For example, so he built a super alloy. So he wrote the first patent in 2010 called photon mediated electron emission. He actually built the super alloy by 2017, 2016, okay? And he had started doing work on it four or five years before he wrote the patent. In 2017, in his staff of around 100 people, 80, 90 people got flu that year. And he got really upset. He said, I can fix it. So he actually built the first Shikokan and installed all his campus in January of 2018. And we used to go there and he said, this machine, now the flu will not come in my campus. And when COVID happened, he said, this problem can solve it. And then it struck me that, how is that possible? Such an unbelievable technology, why is it here? So actually I went back the next day because we had a couple of hours meeting on some other thing. And I said, I don't have time right now, I want to come tomorrow. And we spent a lot of time together and it seemed unbelievable. So we had to actually get it tested our hypothesis tested. So then we shipped out the devices and had to find labs all over the globe who could test this device, okay? Today, this device has been tested. I'll talk to you about a little bit of testing. And we have now shipped these devices in around 20 countries. And we have installations across the globe. And the good thing is of the nearly 30,000 devices that are installed, there is not even a single person who has come and complained and said, we had this, we still got transmission. Now people do say, we haven't got transmission, but I don't know it's because of the device or something else. Because we also have people vaccinated, we have other things, so I don't know. Some people say, I know it works because we were in this meeting, and in this meeting there was a COVID positive person, we spent a few hours, and we, he tested positive in the next 10, 12 hours, and I know that his transmission didn't happen because uh, Psychocan was there. And those are the people who are rolling it out. So this is a thoroughly tested device. We have done all the safety tests. So safety tests have been done on electrical emissions. Safety tests have been done on human cells or animal kidney cells to figure out does it cause any harm when you expose the, uh, the, the cells you know, directly onto these photons that come out, okay? And it has been tested on various surrogate viruses and also on the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus, both at CCMB in Hyderabad, as well as TNO, which is another lens space, one of the top uh, global organizations, which is a research lab which has over 20,000 employees just doing research and trade testing, okay? So this is a thoroughly tested device. We'll talk about what it does. So this is the structure of the virus, whether it's influenza or corona. There's a RNA inside, which is the virus. There's a shell outside. It's called the S protein uh, in corona. It's called the HA protein in influenza. Now what these viruses have is this is a positive charge outside. There's a net positive charge on the shell. Internally on the human cell, there is a negative charge on the cell membrane. So viruses are not living as we know. So they cannot mutate. They cannot uh, multiply on their own. So they need a host cell and they cannot move around. So because of this opposite charge, they come and stick on the cell. Because they stick on the cell, they infect the cell and they start multiplying. So what we do is we send out a very safe spectrum of invisible light, which is fully safe. It basically, for example, this psychocans are now, even if I'm speaking, any particles that are coming from my mouth, even viral are particles, it will strike there and uh, or it will strike the tables, chairs, where we are sitting, our hair, our clothes, and it will create a momentary electron. Now, this is just a change of energy, okay? Uh, it's not a charge that is getting created. We are not throwing electrons everywhere, but it is enough for the virus to get disabled. So the charge on the virus gets disabled. Now, once the charge is disabled, it's just a piece of protein, it cannot infect the human body. We are not really destroying the virus, we are making it non-infective. We are disabling it. And that's why we've chosen a word called attunation. Now, what it does is just a plug and play device. It just takes 40 watts of electricity, doesn't require any consumables, no major AMCs. Once you just install it, next five to 10 years, except for some electrical problem that can happen, we can repair it, it just works. And in that environment, 
the teachers can remove their mask, work with the children, children can play, and imagine putting the mask. So one of the issues with the mask, obviously, that I don't know was not covered in the session, uh, is that due to constant carbon dioxide, we are actually destroys the brain cells. Okay, and children are going to if we are going to force children to work with masks, actually is going to do a big disservice to them. So this is a device that really works. Now we've installed in various countries. Now when we go to a country, they look at all kinds of safety tests we've done, all kinds of regulatory tests. So it takes us two, two months to get an approval from a single country to be able to export the first device. And four or five countries we are still working on. But can you imagine we've been able to achieve it in all of Europe, whole of US, Australia, UAE, uh, Malaysia, each one of them is their own testing. And they looked at the device and then they've allowed us to export. So you can be rest assured that it meets all the safety standards and many governments have looked at it. And we can show you all the pictures, uh, you know, their uh, approval saying that it meets the standards and you can export, import to that country. So we've had a pretty uh, large run. Most of the corporations are not open, so they have some have 10, 20 devices to a few hundred devices, okay? And a couple of them have a couple of thousand devices. But we've had in Tata's, we've had it in Aditya Billa Group, we've had it in Kotak Mahindra Bank, we've had it in most of the uh, manufacturing, because manufacturing was always on at one time, okay? We don't have it in many schools because schools have not opened, and when they're opening, then we are talking to you. But manufacturing was one area because manufacturing could not stop. So a lot of people in manufacturing, which is all the tire guys, some of the Tata companies in manufacturing, some of the Murugappa group companies in manufacturing. Retail has had it. So there are around already 30,000 deployments, and many of these deployments are across the globe. So we have Dubai Health Authority, we have Dubai Police, we have, they have these centers for like Aadhaar, they have the Dubai, um, you know, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, UAE uh, ID card. So the whole ID centers, all the ID centers have it there, okay? and they are doing constant, and they have had zero transmissions there. So, and we have all these uh, references from various customers that are available. We've also had a privilege of few schools doing it, so at least the Lawrence School and Vivek School Chandrikan have done a full deployment, others have done a partial deployment. Um, so, we've had a couple of schools, and we have seven, eight schools. We've had many schools in higher education. Uh, Dubai, many colleges have taken it up um, that we had. So, this is some of the pictures from the Lawrence School Lovedale. These are some of the pictures from uh, Vivek School Chandigarh. Uh, the SP Jain Un you know, University in Dubai has on their campus, and we also have it in a school in Netherlands called Waterland School, uh, which is a K-5 school there. So what we really believe is that safety from the virus is of paramount importance you will have overall absenteeism come down. Now when a child comes absent for a couple of weeks, it has a hard time catching up. So you lose that part. So we're not only saving ourselves from COVID, we are doing it from other areas. Obviously, um, you know, the plight of teachers uh, is very, very difficult. I have a couple of family members who are in teaching. Uh, in Delhi, one of my um, Bhabi teaches uh, in a school. Now she's had a very, very rough time. She has to manage her own children, she has to manage the house, she has to manage the teaching. And she'll make online classes. So she says that I have not, I, I work more than a week than I used to work in a month. My day starts at 5, 6 in the morning and I can't sleep before 11. And she had to con continuously do it for a year to just keep abreast of doing it. So the plight of teachers has been really, really tough. So it benefits everyone. When parents are going to send children, then obviously, the fees will come more regularly. Parents are also struggling because they have to look at their jobs, they have to look at their children. I think it really benefits everyone and we should not lose a generation. And there is no learning other than going and meeting with your friends and playing with them and learning on the, and learning so many things. And it's not about the textbooks only. So we hope that we can partner with you and get safety back to children. We would want, not only want you to be a partner for us just to be our customers, but work with us, let's, you know, put up a team together. We'll want to see if any transmissions have happened. We want to make case studies with you. We want to be your partner for the next 10 years, okay? And there's a device which is Indian. Um, and I ask, get asked this question all the time. 
how has an Indian created it? Why has it not come from outside? Okay, and we ask it all, we kind of ask, have we lost uh, any faith in ourselves? That we can't build something which is cutting edge? And I really think there's a device, we have it in our offices, uh, and we've never stopped working. We've never shut down. We've never worn a mask in our office. We've had zero transmission rate. We've had employees who've got COVID because their family member got it. Some people come by metro. But even when they had come, they would not do it. During Om Omicron, you know, many of us uh, have faced one with, a, with, a, with, a, with a, this thing of ours or our or, or HR lady's uh, spouse had it. And, and uh, she actually said, I believe in the device, took care of in the room where the mashaiko can was there and she never got it. So there are many, many hundreds of stories like that. We have, uh, and you can talk to our customers who have installed it for a year and they will vouch for it. So thank you very much. I'll be happy to take any questions if there are any. Yes, Mr. Dr. Srinivasan. Yeah, so thank you. I, so it covers a thousand square feet or lower. So in a room which is thousand square feet, the question was what area does it cover? So if it's less than 1,000, then you need one for a separate room. So it covers 1,000, but if you have like 5,000, then you just put five of them. For example, we must have calculated we have put three or four here, so it will cover the whole room. Yes, sir? Cost is 25,000 rupees for one device. Thank you, sir. May I please request Mr. Anil Sharma to felicitate Mr. Alok Sharma? Thank you very much.